All right, it's here. It's finally here. The final round, the championship round of the Marvel Madness Tournament. The search for the greatest Marvel superhero of all time. Let's break it down. Welcome to the newest episode of SDW. Super Dario World! It's a me, Dario! Woohoo! All right, so before we begin, as always, any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can find me at Dario the Show on Instagram or at Super Dario Period World on Instagram. Follow my Facebook page, Super Dario World. I update everything there. And uh, also go to rock1053.com, click on Marvel Madness if you want to see the whole bracket or if you want to vote for this tournament. All right? It's been a lot of fun. Honestly, I've, I've really enjoyed this. <laughs> There's not much uh, sports stuff going on. I, I enjoy sports. Uh, <laughs> I enjoyed quite a bit uh, today. I'm excited for the draft, the NFL draft. I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to watch it live. Maybe, well, you know what? For sure, I'm not going to watch it live because uh, I'd rather just see the results at the end. At the end of the day, it doesn't really affect anything. I don't think there could actually be any spoilers <laughs> from it. So I, I don't, uh, unless I planned on watching it with somebody. Like I, I've gotten together with friends or family members to watch it, but eh, not a don't care enough to watch the whole thing, just seeing a whole bunch of people wait around for stuff. So I'd rather just read the results afterwards. And I- I'm still interested in, um, the, like I said, the two teams that I'm rooting for this year, if you've listened to a previous podcast, I'm rooting for the Colts and I'm rooting for, uh, for in the AFC. I'm rooting for the Bucks in the NFC, which is the two teams that got the new quarterbacks that are older quarterbacks that just switched teams. So uh, the Colts got Phillip Rivers from the Chargers. And uh, the the Bucks ha- got Tom Brady from the Patriots, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen there. And uh, since the Chargers left town, I don't really have a, a home team anymore, so you know I'm I'm rooting for them this season. So if if any of you care, and I don't think the Colts have a, pick, a first round pick this year, so that's if, if anybody cared about that, that's what, that those are my thoughts on the draft. Anyway, uh, back to the really important thing. Like, <laughs> and by the, I know this is not sports, but it's a competition, and it was fun. Breaking everything down. Now, now I honestly get why people do it. <laughs> I might, I might get into esports just so that I could start breaking these sort of things down. I'm not the biggest fan of watching other people play, but this has been fun, man. Like, actually, it's I, I'm quite enjoying it. It's a, it's been a, a rewarding experience, and uh, I love. Plus, uh, it's also sparked a few controversies. <laughs> I've gotten a few messages like, "How the fuck do you think that this person could have been there?" Blah blah. It's like, it's what I thought, and I broke down my argument. What's yours? What's yours? What's your argument? You just said I was wrong, but why am I wrong? Anyway, <laughs> so back here. Marvel Madness, the tournament, the final round, the championship. It's between Spider-Man, who for a very long time I have been saying, well, actually every single round I say this, he is the crown jewel of the Marvel Universe, right? The crown jewel, the centerpiece. And then we got Wolverine who is the ultimate, anti- the, the most iconic anti-hero out there. Um, the, should I say that he's like the best rated R superhero? No, probably not. Probably Deadpool. But he is definitely a rated R superhero. He changed the game. Wolverine changed the game. He made anti-heroes uh, super popular, and he's probably the most iconic one. So let's, let's break down this fight. For, for starters, let's kind of like break down their path. And uh, for Wolverine, I just, I got to say it. It was Spider-Man as a one seed. Wolverine was the two seed, and this proves what I said earlier in in the tournament that Wolverine should have been a one seed instead of the Hulk. The Hulk uh, was seeded wrong; like he should not have been a one seed. Wolverine should have been should have been the one seed, and this, to me at least, proves that um, because I mean he made it to the he made it to the finals. So I, I don't know what your arguments are, but that's mine. <laughs> so all right, let, let's break it down. So Spider Man's path: he was a one seed, and the first fight he took on Angel. Which is, you know, fairly easy, but he's an X-Men. The next round, he took on Cyclops. Again, the two, the two Boy Scouts going at it, fairly easy for him. It's particularly in popularity because the X-Men are part of a team. Spider-Man's solo, right? So it, just in popularity alone, he should beat there. The interesting part is another X-Men. Then we have a kind of like a bigger fight. Like it, In terms of power levels, this is this was way, way big, bigger of a deal. And uh, he took down he took down Vision, who was a number four seed. Vision is super powerful. So in terms of power, I could understand him giving uh, Spidey some issues, but nowhere near close for Spider-Man popularity. Like nowhere 
nowhere near. He should not have been a four seed, honestly. I, if he's a four seed, it's all solely because of how powerful he, he is, particularly in, in the MCU. But uh, yeah, no, that this was a walk in the park for Spidey, for sure. Then we he probably the the hardest fight <laughs> he had, at least on that bracket, is he took on number three Scarlet Witch, another X Men, another X Men. So so basically, <laughs> Spider Man has just been duking it out with the X Men left and right, and <laughs> and that that was an interesting fight in in terms of power. Scarlet Witch should have had him. But uh, again, popularity. Popularity is the thing that's been keeping Spider-Man going. And as I've mentioned several times, he's the character that just fits in anywhere. Anybody you put with Spider-Man, you make them automatically more interesting. They make it more fun. Uh, it's more relaxed. It's a, it's a, he's got a heart of gold. So I can. He, he's very well written. And he's written in a way that he's uh, extremely likable. So popularity, there's... there's there's no competition in terms of likability, I think, in, in the world of superheroes that everybody likes. I don't, I've never heard anybody say, ah, oh, man, I hate Spider-Man. I hate Peter Parker. I don't think I've ever heard it. I, I'm, I'm trying to think really hard. I don't think I've ever heard it. In the, there's versions of him where he's not that great, but even those versions, once you mix them into the Spider-Verse, they, they mesh pretty well. So, moving on. Uh, then we he took on Deadpool. Now, this one was really close. And also, another guy who's kind of mixed up with the X-Men. So, <laughs> fun. <laughs> it's been fun for him. Like, apparently, just duking it out over there at the mansion. But uh, Spider-Man versus Deadpool, very interesting because, like I said, Spider-Man, he's, he's the goody two-shoes. Deadpool's the revel. Just the way that Spider-Man can mesh well with anybody and make uh, everybody like him, Deadpool can piss anybody off. <laughs> That's his superpower. He can annoy the fuck out of anybody. And as the audience, it's fun to read. For every other superhero, uh, not so much. He's also an antihero. He's also very powerful. So in in terms of a straight up fight, this is this was a complicated one for Spidey because Deadpool has the advantage of that he can regenerate, and also he uses a whole bunch of really really dangerous weaponry, and he is a killer. Deadpool's a killer. Spider Man isn't. So. This one was was a tough matchup for him, and he barely squeaked by. And I think he he won by like one or two percent, barely. So he he won. Kudos to Spider Man. He is he's still the crown jewel. But uh, he took down, let's say, not the bad boy, but uh, the troublemaker. He took down the troublemaker. Now in the final round, he reached the bad boy. Now 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 reaching the bad boy, and also another X Men. So. Dude just basically stayed the whole the whole fucking tournament. He just stayed <laughs> at, at the X Mansion. That's that that was Spidey. <laughs> well, no, he's the number one. He would have had home field advantage. Still, yeah, I think you know what. Spider Man's cool. Spider Man would have been like, ah, you know what? I'll, I'll go to you. I'll go to you. I'm cool like that. So he takes on uh, Wolverine for the championship. Now, now, now let's check out Wolverine's road here, the road to the championship. And his first fight, he was the number two seed. He took on Miss Marvel, which I've said this. I said this at the time. Have you ever heard of her? No. This is not Captain Marvel. This is Miss Marvel. Nobody's ever heard of her. Very few people have. I think I've only ever read a single comic where she was in it, and she was just there as the background character. So, yeah. In terms of popularity, not even close. So, they're uh, easy fight. The next fight, Wolverine taking on an X-Men Gambit. Now, here's an interesting matchup, because Gambit, he's a very popular... Well, in general, the X-Men are pretty popular, but uh, I think that Gambit would be easy in the top five of the most popular ones. He's funny. He's got a hysterical accent. I mean, in comics, you don't notice that, but in the cartoon, is very popular. He's got a really cool set of superpowers. His eyes are creepy. He's got a very interesting backstory. So it could it it, it was I think a complicated matchup for him. However, the, the <laughs> he won that one a very quite uh, handily, I believe, if I if I remember correctly, the results. Then he took on Black Panther, and I said, in terms of power, this is very close. The vibranium armor that Black Panther has, very, very difficult for him, even with the adamantium claws. The thing that made Wolverine win here is the fact that he's got the, the you know, the healing factor. So while Bla little by little he would be chipping away at Black Panther, and he would be regenerating. So this is that gave him the edge, the the healing factor, and. Uh, Finally, he took down Iron Man, which you know what? Um, F you, Tony Stark. I don't like him. So that's to me. I was happy to see. I was happy to see Wolverine turn Iron Man into ceviche. So screw you. Get out of here. I don't like you. Anyway, now he's in the he's in the final round, taking on Spidey. Right? Wolverine versus Spidey. 
And this is a hard matchup, man. This is because cause you got the golden boy versus the bad boy, right? The kind of like the the rebel but versus the the goody two shoes. It's uh, it's a difficult one. I'm I'm gonna try to work out because I ha- I haven't voted yet. So I'm, this whole thing is basically me trying to figure out who I'm voting for. So as I mentioned several times, uh, the 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 crown jewel versus the the game changer. Because in a way, Wolverine was a game changer. There's a there's a world, uh, there's a Marvel world before him and after him. So, I, I mean, I guess you can say the same thing about Spider Man, but uh, in a different way, because he he completely changed the, one, really completely changed the game, and one, oh yeah, well, I mean, no, the Fantastic Four are the reason why Marvel exists, but I think that the the thing that's kept them going, well, Spider Man is the reason why there's so many superhero movies. So, hmm. And he probably and he does have the better games. Anyway, let, let's let's break down the, the easy part. Let's break down the fight, the actual fight. So, Wolverine, he's got a healing factor. He's got, in a way, he's got uh, let's say heightened heightened strength and heightened senses because he's you know kind of like animal like. And also, he's a very very angry man. He's got adamantium skeleton and those unbreakable adamantium claws. Very dangerous close range. Spider Man, he's got super strength, uh, super agility. He's faster than normal. He's got uh, the the spidey sense. Uh, is he wearing the 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 iron spider armor or not? Ooh, I'm I'm gonna say no. I mean, this is gonna be regular Spidey, right? Regular Spidey, not not iron spider Spidey. Or even I think you know even with the iron spider, I think it's not really that much of a benefit for him because iron spider it gives him four extra arms, but one hit with those claws would 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 uh would destroy those. And uh, the invisibility doesn't really affect Wolverine because he could be able to smell him still. He's got heightened senses. So, you know what? I'll, I'll just stick. I think at the end, the Iron Spider thing would probably be a hindrance to him. It'll make him slower. So let's just say he's regular Spidey. Regular Spider-Man. Regular old friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So he's also got those webs. He doesn't. I'm going to go with the version where, where he uses tech to create the webs, not that come out of him. And so he's got the advantage in range and I think in speed for sure. However... Range is limited because, as I said, there's a limited amount of uh, of spider webs that he has. However, he has the advantage that he just faced an enemy that's really deadly and who has a healing factor that's even more powerful than Wolverine's. So he he's got that under his belt. So he faced already he already faced a similar opponent. So he's got that advantage going going whatever whatever technique whatever strategy he used before it should well it doesn't transfer the same. Wolverine and Deadpool are two very different animals. But all right, okay, so start to break it down. If I'm Spider-Man, I'm trying to use range here because you don't want to get close. You do not want to get anywhere in range for, of those claws. So I'd probably be fighting. Uh, I'd probably be using height and distance against him. He's got the he's got the advantage whenever he's in a in a high altitude. Wolverine has got to claw his way to wherever he is, and that will that will exhaust him. That will Hold him vulnerable in certain things. However, he's super fast. <laughs> Wolverine is way, way faster than than you'd like. The webs won't really do much to him because he can just chop him off with the with his adamantium claws. The stickiness might be annoying, but still, he I I, I would not risk it. You'd want to fight far, far away. You want to just keep throwing him away as far as you can. But throwing him is not easy because he's super heavy. A lot of people don't know this. Wolverine super heavy. Why? Because he's got metal in his bones. Uh so might not be as easy of a task as you would think the also he's got the advantage here is that spider-man uh well the advantage that wolverine has is that wolverine has got killing weapons <laughs> like uh he's he's set up to kill he's got the claws that are are designed to kill one hit from wolverine can kill you uh so wolverine will do definitely more damage if he makes contact contact is the thing can spider-man avoid contact from wolverine for an entire fight I don't think so, because eventually he's going to run out of spider webs, and there's only so much you can do against the uh, against an enemy that can just cut through it. He's got a uh, he's got those claws that whatever you do, let's say you manage to tie him down for a few seconds, he's going to break. He's going to cut cut himself out eventually, and uh, if you're close at the right time, he's going to get you. So honestly, I think in terms of fight, Wolverine would take this fight. It depends on it depends on the arena. Like it's a flat surface, Spider-Man is dead. 
he's dead because he can't jump out around anywhere. He, he can't use buildings to swing. He can't use trees to swing or whatever. And so Wolverine would just chase him around and then try to get him. And eventually he would. If it's like a city or something or, or if it's near, well, if it's near water, then he's definitely got the advantage because like I said before, Wolverine is very heavy. He would probably sink uh, or would at least exhaust him. But I, I think it's, it's a, who, who does more damage here? I think Wolverine does more damage and he can take way more damage. Uh, does Spider-Man have the stamina for this? I don't think so. Also, he doesn't have the killer instinct. Um, and there's no way that Spider-Man can damage Wolverine a lo- enough from a ra- from from a long distance. He would have to get up close and personal to punch him, kick him, or whatever. And one false he would. Okay, Spider-Man would have to fight a perfect fight in order to win, and he would still probably not come out unscathed because. Whenever he punches Wolverine, he's hitting metal. So <laughs> one wrong punch, one wrong block, one wrong whatever, it, and and or even a perfect one, it's still gonna hurt him. So honestly, I, it, in terms of power, in terms of like a straight up fight, I'll give this to Wolverine. Because from what I'm thinking right now, Spider Man would need everything to go his way, and also it would require him to be in an arena that's advantageous to him. Wolverine, even in an arena that's not advantageous to him, he would still be equally as dangerous i mean you could run away for a lot longer but the fight's gonna keep going and wolverine's gonna keep coming because he's got a healing factor so he even if he gets tired he will regenerate really quickly so if i'm gonna give the fight like a straight up fight for this one i'd give it to wolverine now let's let's put other stuff into consideration for example well who would okay who would i rather fight (laughs) and the answer is most definitely (laughs) spider-man I would definitely would rather get in a fight with Spider-Man than with Wolverine because Wolverine would turn me into ceviche and not even think about it. Spider-Man might just knock me out or tie me up and, and embarrass me, but I do not, I'd rather be embarrassed than be ceviche. So I would rather fight Spider-Man. Who would I rather be rescued by? Definitely, definitely the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> so who, okay, so the question is who's the better superhero? Oh, God. If I want to be rescued by Spider-Man, because, I mean, Wolverine is kind of an a-hole, and that's why we love him. He's the anti-hero. He's the bad boy. So he might rescue me, but he also might, you know, knock me out while he do, does it or injure me. It's like, all right, well, uh, my, my arm is stuck here. What can I do? He'll just chop my arm off and like, all right, shut up. I saved you. You're, you're, are you alive? Yes, then you're welcome, bub. So, <laughs> so I'd rather be rescued by Spider-Man. Spider-Man would be way nicer about it. Oh, God, that's the question, isn't it? Who, I mean, he would rescue you technically, but, oh, God, okay. What 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 makes a hero a hero? Is it just saving you? Is it power? Ooh, this is a bad question to ask at this moment, <laughs> at, this, at this crossroads. All right, that's, okay, wow, whew, all right. But, I mean, one would definitely be able to take on more powerful foes, however, one would you know, actually put, you know, more effort in would be nicer about it. Do I want the one who's more, who'd be nicer or the one who would get the job done even though he's a total a-hole? Ah, oh, God, I think I got to go with Wolverine. I mean, because you don't know. I mean, you, you, I mean, if you're being saved by the more powerful one, you have a, you have, or, and, or the better fighter, you have a slightly better chance of surviving, even though the experience won't be quite as nice. So I might prefer Spider-Man, but, push come to shove and probably pick Wolverine. So honestly, I'm right now I'm leaning Wolverine and by a lot. Uh the things are just falling his way. Uh so let's let's turn it to popularity. Okay. Popularity, Wolverine is part of a team which gives the advantage to Spider-Man cuz Wolverine's part of the X-Men and uh Spider-Man is solo Spider-Man. He does his own thing. He's got his own Spider-Verse. Uh Spider-Man is a solo agent. He's been a part of the Fantastic 4, he's been a part of the Avengers, he's been a part of a lot of teams. But he is a solo superhero. Wolverine has always and forever will be associated with the X-Men, the X-Force, and all that stuff. But he is the most popular among them. So does that make you stand out? Even though you're part of a team and you're the one who stands out, would that does that give you any extra brownie points? Because the okay, what's bigger? All right, let, let's 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 think about it. What's bigger, Spider-Man or the X-Men? The X-Men has a really big universe. He 
I think there's more X Men movies, but the X Men movies sucked. There are there more X Men video games. Hmm. The the lore is definitely way wider. Um, you have way more characters to play with. So, and if you're the most popular one of a bigger fran, what's a bigger franchise, Spider Man or the X Men? Oh, that's the question. That's that's a big question. Bigger franchise. Let's see. I think. Okay. Well, everybody knows Spider Man. I mean, everybody knows Spider Man. Not everybody knows all the X Men, but does everybody know? Okay, it's not about knowing every X Men. Is do you know about the X Men? Do more people know about Spider Man, or more people know about the X Men? I think more people know about Spider Man. I think Spider Man is more iconic. But in terms of lore and all that stuff, I think the X Men might be bigger a bigger franchise in that way. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Who? Oh, that's a tough question. That's a tough question. But so, uh, so since I can't really answer it right now, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a pin on that one, maybe permanent, permanently. And let's move on to movies. Let's say, all right, Wolverine has had a few solo movies. Spider Man has had a few solo movies. Spider Man has also been a part of the Avengers movies, and Wolverine's been a part of the X Men movies. By far and away, the Avengers movies kick the ass of the X Men movies. It's not even close. Now the solo stuff. So Wolverine's got what? He's got X-Men Origins Wolverine, which... Blah, blah, blah. Um, then he got, what was it, The Wolverine, which wasn't terrible. It, it's actually quite a decent film. Um, not the greatest, not the worst. Okay, respectable. I feel like I'm missing one somewhere in there in between. I don't know. And then he's got Logan, which is... E- easily, uh, it's easily in my top three favorite superhero movies of all time. Easily, um, is it the best? That's a that's a tough question. That's a tough question. Let me think really quick off the top of my head. I I know f- four that are in the running. Which one would I take out? Ooh, this is a tough question. This is a tough question. Anyway, oh, I'll, 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 that's that's a question for another day. That's a question for another day. So, overall, what's the best Spider Man movie? Um, let's see. The original Spider-Man, I, I, I know this is controversial, but I enjoyed the, the Sam Raimi ones. I enjoyed the, except three. Three was terrible. Uh, Spider-Man three is on the level with, uh, Wolverine, with X-Men Origins. That's, they were both really, really bad. But I think X-Men Origins was still much, much worse. So, let's see. We got Spider-Man, the original one, which I thought was okay. I actually enjoy, I like Tobey Maguire's, uh, Peter Parker better than uh, the dude from what's his name the dude from the social network andrew garfield i like his peter i, I like the toby Maguire peter parker better but i like the the andrew garfield spider-man better um i like the william the foe his performance was great uh james franco sucked the second spider-man i really liked alfred molina i think is that the best spider-man mo- i i enjoyed it i really enjoyed it, especially for the time uh, I, I thought it was really fun. And also, I'm a, like, uh, if you listen to the podcast anytime, I'm a villain guy. So to me, you need a good villain in order to make a, a good superhero movie. I thought that those two villains were great. Far, then we got uh, Homecoming, which was very enjoyable. Again, uh, Vulture was a great... <laughs> what, what's his name? Michael Keaton had a, was a great villain for it. And uh, well, the, the Far From Home, it, it, was, it was good. It was good. It was good. You know what? You know, was it great? Was it better than Homecoming? Was Mysterio better than Vulcan? Ooh, tough question. I think they're on par for now, at least. I had an I, I had an issue with Homecoming, and that's the whole ship thing, where they basically just did the same thing as as, as Spider Man Two with the train. I thought that was really stupid. But and there was too much Iron Man for sure in both of them, and 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 one Iron Man's dead. But uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't like Iron Man in in general. He should have been way way out of that. Then we got his uh, we got Spider Man's part in Infinity War, his mini part in Ed Game. Oh God, this is rough. This is really really difficult for this matchup. Which one's more popular? Why uh, Infinity? Basically, the the best movie that Spider Man's been on has been Infinity War, in my humble opinion. My humble opinion. But it's not the best. It, but it's not. It, well, it's the best movie that Spider-Man's been on. But it really, it's not about Spider-Man. The movie's about Thanos. 
Logan, on the other hand, is the best movie that Wolverine's been on, and it's because of him. He's the main character. So, in terms of movies, I'll I'll give it to Wolverine. He's got the best movie out there. Um, but oh, man, he's got a whole bunch of garbage tied up to him too. <laughs> And I, I mean a, a whole lot of garbage. The X Men movie universe is hot garbage, terrible, terrible hot garbage. But uh, no, I think I think the solo the solo Logan movie is enough to kind of like push him push give, give him the edge because you gotta you gotta respect when somebody does something great and he did something great. There's a whole lot of garbage there. But if we're judging you so uh, on on your best performance, and this is the championship, this is the championship. You got to bring your A game. So I'm guessing Wolverine would bring his A game, which would be Logan. Spider Man's A game would be Infinity War. Well, no, I don't think he'd bring Infinity War. He'd probably bring bring. Well, the unanimous consensus for most people is Spider Man Two, and Spider Man Two does not hold up against Logan. Far From Home or Homecoming do not hold up against Logan. And it's because one's rated R. So basically, here's the thing. It's it's the PG superhero versus the rated R superhero, which is more popular. And uh, after all, a whole lot of thinking and suffering right now, uh, honestly, I'm leaning Wolverine. I'm leaning Wolverine. This this was not a good matchup for Spidey <laughs> at all because uh, he's the PG. He's v- going against rated R. If he was going against another PG, he would probably do it, but... This is rated R territory, man. Wolverine is way too he he's way too popular. Well, they're both way too popular, but uh, I think in the rated R world, he's uh he's too iconic uh, by by a lot. I think it's between him and Deadpool, but in a straight up fight, Wolverine would win. So I I'll, I'm you know what I'm I'm making my choice. I'm voting. I'm saying Wolverine. After all that, that's it. That's a uh, that's that's my final choice. I don't know about you, but that's. That's how the chips landed for me. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you enjoyed my whole rant and me trying to figure that out. Uh, Let me know how you did. Let me know who you're voting for, if I'm right or wrong, or if you agree with me or not. As always, any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can find me at Show on Instagram or at World. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next time.